You are watching a master at work. Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy, Jay Stone. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a brand new refund glitch on GTA 5 Online. One of the most overpowered glitches to ever hit GTA Online, and it's back again. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help my channel grow. Drop a big fat like on the video, and let's get right on into it. First things first, load into an online session with your main character and deposit all of your money into the bank. Open up your phone, go into the internet, go to Maze Bank, and deposit everything you have into your bank account. By doing this, that money is now going to be shareable between character number one and character number two. From there, open up the pause menu, go over to online, go down to choose character, and select it. If you don't already have a second character, go ahead and create one now. If you do already have a second character, you're going to delete that second character and create a new one. At this point, it's going to ask you if you want to transfer over your rank from character 1 to character 2. Select the option for yes. By doing that, it's going to give you a free garage, and we're going to need that garage space. From here, it's going to load you online. Once you're in the online session, open up the pause menu, go into your map, and you're going to locate the LD icon for Lamar Davis. You'll see that there's two different icons. You're going to go for the one that's just above the G logo. Go over to the blip, interact with it, and Lamar is going to give you a call telling you to meet him at the Benny's Garage. Make your way straight on over. Once you've made your way over to the Benny's Garage, it's going to start up the mission, and once you're on the mission menu, you're going to tap circle to back out of it and exit the mission entirely. By doing this, we've now gained access to the Benny's Garage, which we're going to need. From here, we need to locate a Benny's vehicle anywhere out on the street. Now, if you don't know which vehicles are Benny's vehicles, simply open up your phone, go into the internet, go to Travel and Transport, go down to the Benny's Original Motor Works, select it, go down to Stock, and select that option. It's going to show you all the Benny's vehicles that are available right here. You want to locate any one of these vehicles out on the street and you're going to steal it. From there, you're going to pull it inside of the Benny's garage. Now, before we begin, I want you to take a look at the money that I have in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Right now, we have $42,438,086. Now, from here, we're going to pay for it to be upgraded to the Benny's Original Motor Works, which is going to be a large chunk of change. And then from here, we're going to buy all the most expensive parts that you could possibly put on the vehicle. So, you're going to go down through the entire list putting on all the most expensive parts from every single category an exception for the car bomb slash explosive category do not put those on there after you went through the entire list placing on all the most expensive upgrades you do not want to back off of this menu at all whatsoever from here you're going to go to the playstation home screen you'll go into the settings go into network and disconnect your network reconnect your network and go back into the game You'll get this alert to pop up on screen, accept the alert and it's going to take you to story mode. From story mode, load into an online session. Once online, you'll notice that you still have the same amount of money that you had prior to upgrading that vehicle. And you can now call your mechanic and see that you have that vehicle fully upgraded and modified stored inside of your garage. Call this vehicle out, take it over to Los Santos Customs, and you can now sell this vehicle for X amount of money. Different vehicles have different sell prices, so the sell price is going to be determined by which vehicle you have and what upgrades you chose to use. In my case, here, it's allowing me to sell this one for a little over $600,000. With the new sell nerfs that have been implemented into GTA 5, every vehicle that you sell past one vehicle within a 30 hour period of time is going to decrease the sell price of that vehicle. So the second time you sell the same vehicle, it's going to sell for even less, and the third time is going to be even less than that, etc. and so on within a 30 hour period of time. To maximize alpha of this, you want to sell one to two, maybe even three vehicles a day and no more than that. But in order to avoid your daily sell limits altogether, sell no more than two per hour and no more than seven vehicles in a 30 hour period of time. Rinse and repeat this glitch as many times as you would like and if for some reason you stop earning the vehicle you are then gonna have to delete the second character, create a new vehicle and redo the glitch all over again. But always remember after you sell the vehicles to deposit your money into the bank account so it's shared back over to character number one. Be sure to do that after each and every sale. I appreciate you all for tuning in. I appreciate all the continued support. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help the channel grow. Drop a big fat like on the video and let me know what you did in the comments below. It's your boy Jay Stone and I'm gone.